an element needed by all living things to produce energy. But for this nutrient to re-enter the chain of life, it must first embark on a long journey that can be seen from space. The journey begins here, on the ancient lake bed in the Sahara, and are carried off by the wind. A dust storm builds. Twenty two thousand miles above, the European weather satellite Meteosat eight looks down from its geostationary orbit. It records a daily pulse of dust rising off the Bodele Depression. Here, it's visible as a whitish dust cloud lifting from the desert with clockwork regularity at noon each day. Although the individual particles of dust are minute, they're like hundreds or thousands of a millimeter in diameter, there are such vast clouds of this dust that you can see it on satellite images. The dust cloud is over 100 stories high and 200 miles wide. From here, it will head west on an epic journey. Seen from space, the dust is blown across Africa. At the Atlantic coast, it's drawn up high into the sky. This simulation, based on satellite data, shows how prevailing winds carry the dust cloud west and south, 3,000 miles across the Atlantic. As much as 7,000 tons of dust are airborne at any one time. The destination is set by the winds, South America and the Amazon. We're taking literally thousands of tons, porting that from the Bedelli. The wind is carrying it out across the Atlantic to fertilize the Amazon. Minerals in the dust, which include, dissolve into water droplets and fall to the Amazon in rain. Areas like the Amazon jungle, although they, they appear very rich, the soils are actually very depleted. They've been leached. Rain falls incessantly throughout the Amazon's wet season. It passes into the soil and the roots of the trees, nourishing the rainforest. We can see all the green vegetation on Earth, wall to wall, every day. And it tells you almost everything you want to know about the state of life on Earth. With its color scanner, Terra can see the effect of the Sahara dust on the Amazon at the end of the rainy season. It observes an increase in the distinctive green color of chlorophyll. Like the plankton blooms in the ocean, the forest is kicking into overdrive. Watered by rain and nourished by the minerals borne across the Atlantic by the dust cloud. For every leaf that exists now, three more will grow in a week. It's the culmination of a chain of events that began far back in time, 
and halfway around.